new report out this morning that's outlined a strategy to help drive down emissions and ensure Australia has climate resilient buildings. The joint report from the Property Council of Australia and the Green Building Council lists 39 recommendations, including giving homes energy performance ratings and phasing out gas, water, heaters and cooktops. Joining me now is Green Building Council CEO Davina Rooney. Davina, thanks so much for your time. So what is at the heart of these recommendations and how is it going to bring down emissions? Well, fantastic. I mean, the built environment uses 50% of all the electricity in the grid. So if we're going to have big carbon targets, we really need the built environment to be at the heart of this. So the call for this report is for the government to partner with us. We're thrilled to be launching this with Assistant Minister McAllister today. Key recommendations to help us drive down emissions in the built environment. One thing that is really going to get people worked up is this idea that they're going to have to give up their gas um, stovetop. Why is that one of the key recommendations? Well, when we look at the international reports, the International Energy Agency thinks we're going to save more carbon emissions by electrification than energy efficiency in mm. buildings. So there's, this is going to take it some time. It's going to be a transition. And what we're already seeing is celebrity chefs like Neil Perry are out talking about the cooking's better with induction cooktops. We know with heat pumps that they're far more efficient. There's a real opportunity for Australians to save money as we have a transition. Now, obviously, it's going to be in the long term. And so this is a long term plan calling for partnership with government yeah. as we stage that transition. Well, even this government has admitted that gas is that transition fuel and it's going to be still around for decades. And, you know, people are warming up some soup on their gas top stove is not really going to make a huge dent, is it? So the way we look at it is there's this thing called the hydrogen ladder. Where, where are we best off to use green gas in the future? And there's spaces that are really important, like manufacturing green steel, but all the independent reports say that heating buildings isn't really that place. So there's a real opportunity for us to jump technologies. You know, we went yeah. from the Nokia phone to the iPhone. There's this huge opportunity to jump technologies and go into the most efficient places. We've really... Buildings have been a boring but important part, but we spend 90% of our lives here. They use a huge amount of energy. There's a real opportunity to partner with the government and put this right at the heart of carbon policy. Yeah, there's a bit of a gap here. Do you think there's a danger with jumping technologies, as you put it, that you lose some of that reliability? Uh, electrification, renewable energy, everyone would rather be there sooner, but we're just not. We're going to need these fossil fuels for quite some time. So by jumping that, does that put more uh, focus, well, more pressure on the grid, uh, a grid that is still very much um, relied on for reliability by fossil fuels? Well, Laura, you're exactly right. This is a long-term plan. And so that's what we do when we partner with government on policy. We lay out long-term plans. Mm. And you're right, we're seeing the leading parts of the voluntary market do this now. These homes are cheaper, they're healthier for your family, um, you know, they walk more lightly on the planet. Huge opportunities. But to take all Australians there, we actually need policy. And that's why we're launching this report, because all Australians deserve better. And where we should start is what we design in our new buildings and then work on a plan to take ourselves there together. There's a whole energy policy section because the grid and buildings need to work together so we can deliver the transition exactly as you say. OK, uh, one final question here. Say, uh, for argument's sake, that all of these 39 recommendations are adopted, how much does it bring down emissions and by when? Absolutely. We can be over 15% of the solution from the built environment alone, and that's before we go after manufacturing, which is another 9% of Australia's emissions. So a huge opportunity in this space to work together. Thank you so much for having me.